What is up guys? Welcome back to Damn Good Cooking. It's your boy Dave. Today we're going to make some delicious tuna. Now, I had a buddy I used to work with back at Wright Patterson Air Force Base. And this guy used to just simply take the tuna, take a can opener, and eat it out the can. It's not how you do tuna. I'm going to show you how to do tuna. Simple, easy, with three little ingredients. All you need is bell pepper, onion, and egg. My egg is over there boiling right now because your boy is hungry, so I got that started and it's just about ready. You're just going to take your tuna, you're going to drain it. It's very important. You want to drain the tuna first, you're going to pop it in there, chop this stuff up, throw it in there take some mayonnaise i hope i got enough mayonnaise we're going to mix it up in there stir it put it in the freezer only reason it's going in the freezer is because i want to eat in the next 20 minutes because it's important to make sure your tuna is chilled so normally i let it sit in the refrigerator for a couple hours before eating the ingredients together with this combination is going to be the bomb this is going to be the best tuna you ever had it's not going to be like that prison tuna that you get in restaurants this is simple easy tuna and you can have this done in five minutes you gotta wait 20 minutes to eat it that's all now the tuna that i get i always get the tuna in water why? I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. My mom always said get tuna and water. I remember I was a kid and go to the grocery store, make sure you get a can of tuna, but get the tuna and water. So I think the other one is like in oil, but she said, no, get the one in water. So I've always had tuna and water. One day I'm gonna have to break the cycle. I'm just gonna try the one in oil. It might be really good, but tuna and water is what I get. It doesn't matter the brand, this is chicken of the sea. Normally I can get the star kiss. Another important factor is what you put your tuna on. And here I'm gonna be using the ciabatta bread. Got this at a little produce market, like a little farm where we get all the hot sauces. I got some nice hot sauce videos coming up for you guys but it's the ciabatta rolls just take it slice it you throw it in the oven if you like so you want to get some nice thick bread or rolls to put your tuna on about the green pepper i'm gonna tell you why in my michelle voice i don't like celery in my tuna fish so this is a great substitution for having celery and plus i think it tastes way way better with the green pepper so let's get started Okay, now that we got our vegetables cut up and our tuna fish drained, we wanna go ahead and scoop it out, get it into the bowl there. Now I'm only doing one can, one egg, the little bit of vegetables that I chopped up. If you're making it for four, I would just double it, do two cans and do two eggs and go from there. Once your tuna's in the bowl there, I take a little bit of adobo. You can take any seasoned salt or any seasoning to your choice, season it. Drop a little bit of pepper in there as well. And then go ahead and put your vegetables in there. And before you start mixing it up, get you some mayonnaise in there. I'm gonna have to work with what I got here. Okay, I had to pause the camera while I went through my struggle to get this stuff in there, but you can see the amount that I have there. Next thing, we're gonna go ahead and get this stirred up before we apply the egg, because the egg is gonna break up. So if you wanna try to keep it together, add that last and do a little slight mixture. So we're just gonna take a fork or whatever fancy cooking utensils you may have and mix it up really good. Trust me, if you're hungry, this is quick. Don't just open that can of tuna and eat it. Okay, now it's time to chop up that egg and get it in there. And just like that, that quick, it's done. We're just gonna slap a lid on this, get this guy to the freezer so I can eat in 20 minutes, pull it out, and it's time to eat. So let's get this guy in the freezer, expedite it, so you can get in my belly. Just like that, it's time to eat. I'm not gonna lie, it hasn't been 25 minutes. Boy, it needs to eat. So let's go ahead and get that on there. I only had it in there for about 10 minutes. Get that loaded. Dress it up however you like. Throw some lettuce on there, throw some tomatoes on there, a little bit of cheese. But I'm having mine just like this on ciabatta bread. Gotta put the pickle on the side, and then you gotta top it off with some potato chips. This is nothing fancy. This is Market Essential. This is my grocery store brand. It's the cheap stuff. It's only a dollar something. But these are the best chips ever. I'll take this over Pringles. I'll take this over Doritos. The Market Essential chips are the bomb. If your grocery store sells that, just pick up a bag. The price may deteriorate your way. Gotta try it. So just like that, quick, simple recipe. You can have it down in five minutes, throw it in there, ready to eat 25 minutes later. Damn good tuna fish. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Dave, Damn Good Cooking, signing out. Peace.